Hey, what is up guys? So, I am finally back <laughs> from my summer vacation. Um, I did not expect to be taking that long of a vacation. There was just no easy way for me to get videos out for you guys while I was working at summer camp. Um, but now that that is over, we're going to be getting videos out hopefully a couple days a week. Um, and it won't just be the tutorial videos because... Um, you know, you gotta have something else to do. Can't just do the same thing. Plus, I don't want to burn myself out and, you know, get bored of doing this for you guys. Um, but today we will be doing reaction rolls, which basically, if you don't know, you add a reaction to a message and it gives you a roll. It, it's like basically the commands that, you know, like I am and then the name and it gives you that roll. It's like that except with just reactions. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do here is I'm going to open up our database here. If you guys remember we you oh. Okay, well, that works too. So, if you guys remember or if you still use this, we're going to be making a new table. We're going to be naming this one. Uh, let's just name it Let's just name it react. A reaction. So I don't get it confused. And then earlier, I made a quick list here in this. These are the things that are going to be in the table. So we're going to want emoji, the text, and then we're going to want roll. Once again, we'll make that text, and then message ID. No, it did not save. Message ID, and then channel ID. And guild ID. And we'll just save this here. So now that we have this table here, we can get to work on actually getting some code to put into it. So we're going to make a new file here, we'll call it react.py. I'm just going to yoink this and then just get rid of the welcome code. And then once you add this, don't forget to put it in here or else the thing will not be loading. So if you don't put it here, it will not load that file when you want it to load that file. So now, we come up here, we're going to import oops, RE. We're going to need that later. And we're going to import light 3 now I'm gonna try to go a little faster than normal because I don't want to bore you guys with a 30 minute long video um, I might cut some things out of me actually putting in some code and then just kind of go over it in the end um, but I will try not to do that because these are a little bit differently we're gonna be using a event today called on raw reaction add and on raw reaction remove basically that gets us um, every time a reaction is added or removed from a message it will get that message even though that message was sent before the bot was online so it's just to get older messages basically so we're going to do add on re on raw reaction add and then we will do self and reaction. So once we have that, we're going to want to do, uh, we want to support custom emojis too, just because most people have custom emojis in their server, so we're going to want to do if 
that is in the string of reaction dot emoji. So if, for example, if we come in here and we get rid of this, say let's do let's do the white check mark. So if we do white check mark and we get the ID of it for say, this is a emoji provided by Discord. So it has a default like this is what it is. You can copy paste that. But say we use like so we use this, right? And we come over here. It has an ID. And it also has one of these. So we need to get this ID to be able to basically put it on as a reaction. So we're gonna now also just do real quick main equals light three. I'm going to set up a few quick things off camera and then I will show you guys what I've done. Okay guys, so I have just quickly added in some things here for getting the database information. Um, basically if it has this, it's got an ID so we can tell it to get us that ID. If it doesn't, then it doesn't really have an ID and we just want to get the actual emoji itself. Um, so now if we go up here, we will do if result is none, return, and then we'll do a string of reaction dot emoji dot ID is equal to, or is in, I suppose, would be better. Um, the res let's just do string as well. String of result zero. I meant to put these in as well. It's kind of an important little thing. Is it zero? It would, uh, it would be zero. So after that, we will want to do uh, on equals Discord. Oh, that's not how you spell Discord. Discord dot utils dot get guild dot roles id equals. Init of result one, and then we want to check this. We want to do user equals guild dot get member, and then we want to get the reaction dot user ID to get the user that reacted to that message. And then after that, it's basically just await user dot add role, and then we give it the role. So that should give the user that role. And then just to make sure we don't have anything showing up randomly here, and we're basically just going to copy paste what we just did, bring it down here a bit and just change up a few small little things here. So from here, we're gonna wanna change where it says this. So we wanna change And then basically we just uh, keep it from there. It's not too hard. Um, still gets the role, gets the emoji, and then adds it to the user. 
we also will want to make a way for the user to get rid of that roll if they want. So we'll just, once again, it's another one of those things where it's fairly similar. Um, change the add to a remove. And this is actually roll, it's not just roll. So basically we just tell it to remove the rolls. It's quite similar to to the way to add in. Um, there's not much to change other than that. But now we want to make sure we can actually have them like have say, you know, an admin, say he wants to add a role to a message. We need to be able to let him do that. So what we're gonna do is at commands dot command. And then we will do the noise and def, and we'll just do this uh, role add. And then we're gonna get a couple things here. So we're gonna self CTX, and then we want a channel, which would be a Discord dot text channel, and then we want a message ID an emoji a roll well that's not how you spell roll at all and this will be a discord dot roll so that way it can make sure they actually use a roll and then we will just do database stuff here, so main equals sql3.connect so I will once again set up a few things and then be right back okay guys so I have just set up this quick little thing here uh, basically what this does is it gets rid of all the extra stuff in the emoji if it has an ID um, and it just gets us the number ID, which is what we need to actually be able to use that emoji. I've also set up the database things here. So we're going to do if result is none. And we want to do SQL equals insert into named it reaction then we want to do emoji roll message ID channel ID and guild ID oops values then equals so for values we want to do two, three, four, five question marks. So that is the values. And then for values down here we will do we want to do emoji, but for emoji it would be emm because we want to get the ID, the roles ID, message ID channel ID and then the guild ID so those are all of those and then we want to do message equals we want to fetch the message basically so we tell it to fetch message and then want to give it the ID of the message to fetch. So it goes to the channel that the person mentioned whenever they use this command. It gets that channel and then it fetches the mes message that they gave you the ID for. Um, and we will then go to em equals self dot bot dot get emoji and then we want to 
to get the init of the emoji ID that we had earlier. And then await message to add reaction. And then we wanted to add the emoji that we just did. Normally you'd also save the database, but we're just going to put that at the very end just so we can only have to put it once. Um, and then we want to tell it that if the message already exists, so if it's not none. But we also want to make sure that the message isn't in there, so if message ID is not in. Result three. Let's try. That should work. Just we want to make sure the message ID is not already in the database. Um, if it's not in the database, we want to basically just do what we already did. So we're just going to copy paste this, and then after that, we will come down here, and we will do the that's not in the emoji. That should not be capital. So if it's not in emoji, this one's fairly simple. Um, we'll just copy this, put it down here, and then we want to do basically all of the same things except for here. We're just going to tell it to give the emoji. Um, because we don't really need it to get an ID because there is no ID. So if we just tell it to put the emoji in, it will put in the exact emoji. Um, and then we can just have tell it to add that emoji to the message. It's fairly similar, fairly simple, not too hard. Maybe we'll do this and then copy paste down here. Do the same thing, get rid of this. emoji and that to emoji after that we want to make sure we didn't screw something up because it looks like we did apparently we are not matching an indent somewhere I'm gonna try to figure out where I messed up and I will be right back Turns out I'm just not that smart. Uh, there's a small little spacer right there. So we'll just remove that and save it. So that is for the reaction add. We still are getting a... Ah, I see, okay. Um, that is for the reaction add. It's not too hard. We also will want a way to remove the emoji. But let's just make sure that what we have so far works. So I'm going to go ahead and start this bot up and then we will just test this out. But it looks like we're getting an error up here. I'm not too sure why. Ah, okay. It's just listener, not listeners. I don't know why I put listeners. Um, so now we're going to do this. Nope, we named it main.py. So it's loaded the file. The file is loaded successfully. And there's the bot. So we're going to want to just test this out. I'm going to make sure I get this right. Yep exclamation point. So we want to, first we're going to roll add, uh, let's try, just add this to this message here. So copy ID, roll add, and I believe since we have our old home message it should give us an error here. Yeah, see, so it tells you what you're missing with that um, help formatter thing that we did. Just so we get this right, I'm going to use this for examples here. So we're going to do roll add. We want tutorial testing. We also want a message ID. And 
and an emoji. So let's just give it a let's just give it a white check mark, and then we want to give it a roll. So we can do let's just do the true Jared. Why not? Did we not save? Okay, uh, I will try to figure out what's wrong with this here, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, looks like this is completely my bad. Um, this should be DB, not SQ Lite, because I created it with the um, program here. So we'll go ahead and just do a quick restart to get rid of any bugs that may have occurred. Also, down here, I forgot to mention, make sure you add this at the bottom so it saves all of that. Now we will try this one more time. So we'll go ahead and grab this. No point in retyping it. I will re-mention myself. And then add it. So as you can see, the message has that. We're going to quickly go into server settings with the roles here. And put this above everything. So now if I go ahead and do this, see nothing happens, I already have the roll. But if I remove it, then we just get nothing. We have a nitro booster roll. Uh, add it back, now we have the roll again. So we want to quickly now add in a way to remove the rolls from this. So I'm going to quickly set up the, you know, the basics uh, database setup and everything and I will be right back. Okay guys, so same thing with the roll remove. Um, we're going to want to check what kind of emoji it is, custom or not. Um, and then we want to do if result is none. We will then just send a message real quick. ctx.send that message or the, that reaction was not found on that message just so we don't have it you know return without telling you that it was removed or something um, people would most likely get confused by that um, we'll do a lift and then the string of message ID is in the string of re yeah result thought I mistyped that for a second so if it's in the string of result two, we will need to basically just tell it to delete that because we we don't want it anymore. We're trying to remove it. Um, deleting it's not too hard. We're just gonna do cursor dot execute, and then we want to format that and then delete from reaction that needs to be in caps but where guild ID is equal to ctx dot guild dot ID so that gets the ID of the guild from the person using the command and message ID needs to equal the message ID given and we also want to make sure the emoji is correct so and emoji is equal to EMM so that it would make sure the emoji is equal to that ID that we are getting and then we'll just go ahead and say await oh, CTX dot send reaction has been removed after that we'll copy this quick little message here and do else just you know make sure we don't have any bugs or anything 
Now we will do the lift. It's not in emoji. We're gonna wanna basically do the same thing again. Um, copy this, paste it. Instead of that, we're just gonna do emoji. Not too hard. Um, and we will want to also save the database. So let's go ahead and grab this. And save the database. And now this will kind of get rid of that for us. So if we go ahead and restart this real quick. And then come over here. Right now we can refresh this. So you see we have this emoji with all that information there. But now if we do roll remove, and I not, did not show you guys, but if we do roll remove, we just need the message ID and the emoji. So if we just do roll remove, we want this message and it's the white check mark. Oh, see it looks like we have another error because I mess up again. It is database, not SQLite. Force of habit, sorry. So we'll try that one more time. So now if we go back to this, you can see it's just gone now. Um, so that is about it for this video guys. Um, if you guys want to follow my Twitter in the description below as well as join the Discord, I will let you guys know about the new upcoming upload schedule that should hopefully kind of help get me back into the swing of things now that the summer's over. Uh, with that though, I will see you guys next time.